Using the overlay histogram is easy. Visualization tools, overlay histogram, let's create one. And then you just add or connect any number of histograms into overlay histogram. And they are visualized here. So uh, every time when you do something for these, it will be reflected to these. This. And uh, for instance, I can change the color, line color, to red, and that will be reflected here. Or if I change um, the scale, that is reflected here. And if I change the file, file, next file in directory, it is reflected here. And uh, if I fill this histogram field will be true, like this. Now it's uh, the fill, filling can be seen also here. Uh, if you have just one histogram field, then the filled histogram will be drawn first and then the mm, unfilled histograms on top of that. So this will not cover ever the, the other histograms. But if you have more than one histogram field, then this uh, changes appearance a little bit. Uh, these colors becomes uh, will become um, transparent, 50% transparent, so you can see where your histograms are overlapping. Okay, let's collect these. Collection tools and image collector. Like this. And uh, nothing can be seen here. And the reason is that uh, overlay histogram by default, it doesn't update every time when it is updated. Unlike normally, for example, if you have histogram, you connect it to image collector, then every time when histogram is updated, then image collector will be updated also. But the uh, overlay histogram by default, it always waits until all the master histograms have updated it, uh, it and then it will send the image there. Let's have a look. Mm. Or, or you can uh, mm, force it to update by right-clicking and refresh view like this. Now if I jump here one forward, no update. But here if I go one forward, now you can see that uh, it updated itself or sent the image to image collector so it updated here. So the idea is that if you have, for example, you want to analyze pairwise, you have uh, one file and the corresponding other file, and you want to overlay them pairwise, then you can make the engine where mm, this jumps every second and this wants every other second, and this collects the image, and after this have loaded mm, the images, our files and uh, draw on the histograms and put them here then after that it this will send the image to image collector sometimes this is not what you want if you want for example that you have uh, one image here or <coughs> and um, for example this is the changing one you have stimulated cells and then you have one control cell uh, image and you would like to keep that always as background. So you, uh, the other one you don't update ever, but uh, the other you update. So in that case, it's not what you want that uh, it's updating only when everyone are updated. Right click when updated, always update servants. Click this, now it's selected. So now every time when uh, any of these are updated, this will also update image collector. Let's have a look what happens. Next file, next file, 
next file. Okay, now it works as it should. There it is. Hmm. Then about something about master histogram. You can you must define uh, one of these histograms as master. And uh, in um, this kind of image collector, it means because uh, image collector always collects the images, but if the same file comes to image collector, it doesn't create new image. Rather, it updates uh, the existing uh, image from the same file. And now, here is the same that uh, that um, image collector still wants to know whether it should uh, create the new one or update the old one. But how it can know which of these files is uh, the file because there are two or more files. That's why here you must define the master histogram. By default it's the first one, but you can uh, define it otherwise. And if for instance, in this case, uh, master histogram is this um, histogram ID 1, which is this one, ID 1, can be seen here. That means that the file in that master histogram is the file in these images. So, uh, for example, in this case, there is um, uh, data from B1 and here from, well, A3. When it sends here, then uh, this tells to image collector that uh, the file name is this b1 b01.fcs um, this is uh, even more important if we de delete this now and uh, create um, collection tools and uh, well played collector image collector if you want that uh, these always appears to the correct well uh, this uh, image uh, collector must know which file you are dealing with and uh, also in that case it's uh, critical to define correctly this uh, histogram master histogram